Well, age comes greater on a seven. Okay. Genesis 9, 1 to 17. And God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. And the fear of you and the dread of you shall be on every beast of the earth, and upon every fowl of the air, upon all that move upon the earth, and upon all the fishes of the sea, into your hand are they delivered. Every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you, even as the green herb, have I given you all things. But flesh of the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall ye not eat. And surely your blood of your lives will I require, of the hand of every beast will I require it, and the hand of man, of the hand of every man's brother will I require the life of man. Whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed, for in the image of God made he man. And you, be ye fruitful and multiply, bring forth a bundle in the earth and multiply therein. And God spake unto Noah and to his sons with him, saying, And by I, behold, I establish my covenant with you and your seed after you. And with every living creature that is with you, of a fowl, of a cattle, and of every beast of the earth with you, from all the goat of the ark to every beast of the earth. And I will establish my covenant with you, neither shall all flesh be cut off any more by the waters of a flood, neither shall there any more be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, This is a token of a covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I do send my bone of a cloud, and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth, that the bow shall be seen of a cloud. And I'll remember my covenant which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. And the waters shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. And the bow shall be in the cloud, and I will look upon it, but I remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, This is a token of a covenant which I have established between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. Okay. Right. Now that's the, um, the Rainbow Covenant. That's uh, Noah's covenant. Now, with age comes greater honour. That's this sermon series. And we know that the Noahide covenant began a number of millennia ago. And the honour that it has is that it's eternal. And you can't get much more honourable than being granted an eternal covenant. And mankind has been granted an eternal, an eternal covenant, the sign of which is the rainbow. And rainbows are rife in human society's culture, aren't they? They've been honoured till the cows come home in works of art and so forth. And Noah now is very well established in literature, in artwork, and in the religious terminology in, in the community. Noah is a well-established figure. The covenant, which is eternal, has been honoured, and here in this year, 6,184 since creation, of the year 2021 of the Common Era, it's still being honoured as the covenant, and there are people these days who are taking the name of Noah himself literally and calling themselves Noahide, as there have been over history from time to time. It's a covenant which is old, and it's an eternal covenant, and it's a covenant which is probably going to be honoured gradually more and more by God. And remember, God maintains his covenant. It's God's covenant with mankind, and God honours his covenant by bring, bringing a rainbow regularly into the clouds of planet Earth when it's raining. So it's something which God continues to honour, and he's honouring it eternally. So we can know that as Noah hides, those who are, in this, with age, who are watching this and know this with age comes greater honour series of videos, we know that as Noah hides, the honour goes on for something which God honours us with. Because we're, we're Noah hide, we're Karite, Adamite, Noah hide, and we're, we're part of something which God honours and he's bringing honour to forever. It's something which lasts forever. And you can't really get any more honourable than being granted eternal life, can you? 